All right, stop. Go. That is simply a ball and eating all those donuts by yourself can't be good for your health. Really? Go. Really? Dude, that is simply a ball and eating all those donuts by yourself can't be good for your health. I just wanted to be a super strong beast of a man like those guys on TV. And I figured this would help. Sonny, you're pretty darn stupid eating all those weights. <laughs> Sonny, eating all those munchkins is not good for your health. Uh, damn it, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta go, Chris. Gosh, kid, you're pretty darn stupid. Eating munchkins is just gonna make you fat like a walrus. Sonny, you gotta hit the weights. Golly, sir, that sounds like it would hurt. Jesus, kid, you lift the weights. Come with me and I'll show you how to become a perfectly go. prime piece of perfectly prepared and powerful performing powerhouse of perfectly pure precision the pinnacle of peak physical power before this person punch it wait all right. All right, go, go. All right, go come on let's go drop those munchkins did i get you i thought you said we need to run there drop those munchkins and say, let's run there don't you have a car doesn't matter let's run your training starts now but i need my nick ross Wait! Nick Ross! Oh my goodness! If you want to be a real man, you can have big biceps. If you want to be a real man, you can have big biceps. First we do a warm-up. Let's start by me showing you some stretches. All right, the first one we can do is called the wall stretch. The wall stretch is a bicep stretch that can be done anywhere and has a wall. Position the arm from the hand to the inner elbow against the wall and turn the body away from it, exhaling slowly. This allows the stretching to occur in the biceps as well as the pectoral muscles. Hold this pose for 30 seconds and release slowly. All right, the first stretch we can do is called the wall stretch. One kind of bicep stretch that, we can, that can be done anywhere that has a wall, or a friend if you have any. Position the arm from the hand to the inner elbow against the wall and turn the body away from it, exhaling slowly. This allows the stretching to occur in the biceps as well as the pectoral muscles. Hold this pose for 30 seconds and release slowly. Another way to stretch a bicep is to clasp the hands around the back. This is called the rear hand clasp. Put the hands behind the back with palms facing each other. Strengthen the arms slowly and rotate the hands so they face down and lift the arms up. This can stretch the biceps, shoulders, and chest at the same time. There you go, you got it. Great, now that we're all warmed up, let's hit the machines. Great, now that we're all warmed up, let's hit the machines. We're gonna get jacked! See that guy over there? You're gonna look just like him one day. But you gotta start small. Wait, Nate, where'd you go? Aw, oh, not that small, Nate. Give me that. All right, we gotta start off with just the right weight. We gotta start off with just the right weight. Come on over here. Here we go. Hold the weight firmly in your wrist. Fuck. That's... Hold the weight firmly in your fist. Start off with your arms stretched straight out, like so. And then lift up, and then down, and then up, and then down. Making sure you put all your emphasis on your biceps. Breathe out when you go up, and in when you go up. Breathe out, and in.
what's this? This is a rowing machine. Here, grab it. Keep your legs bent, your back straight, and pull with your arms. Ah, do you feel the power? Keep your arms bent and breathe out when you pull in and breathe in when you pull out. Keep your arms close to your body and breathe out when you pull in and breathe in when you pull out. Alright, that was a good workout. Now let's head over to my house to do something without weights. Zoom in and stuff. Yeah, ready? Just say when. Wait, oh, it's recording. Okay, nice. Okay. Now do one from right Ooh. there. Do you start a new one. Hey, you! Get back here! Hey! Ah! 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 I do. I go like. Yeah. Then I'll be like. And then we just like go like wait, this. Wait, hold on. Why is he after me? Nick because stepped on your car. It doesn't matter. Okay. Nick, okay. Nick's your transportation. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. If your car hit my car, would I be after your car or you? Well, no. But that that's Nick not, is not a human. That's he's not our, the case. He's a transporter. Okay. Fine. In this situation. Alright. <laughs> you. I'm gonna kill you! Wait a minute! The only way to solve this is to have a shot putting contest. If I win, we go free, but if you win, you get to kill him. So, deal? Or no deal? Uh, you know what? You've got yourself a deal.